It was a long time ago that I first observed you, Mary Lou. Once upon a time, I was a lowly Scott High School freshman. And you were a junior, and you were that cheerleader with all that energy. Who would have known, after all these years, in between, that we might then be working together in the, what is now the Mommy Valley Adventurers? Uh, Welcome to Travelers. Twenty years ago, Mary Lou Leonard began an adventure that takes place deep within these oak and pine forests of Toledo's metro parks every weekend during the long, cold winters of Northwest Ohio. On an overcast Saturday afternoon, the park's lodge is filled to capacity, filled with new friends, some very old friends, and a lot of talk about travel. They've all come to see a slideshow and video presentation about one person's recent trip to far off places like Namibia, Italy, or today, an Arabian adventure told by that traveler. Each Saturday afternoon in January, February, and March, there's a one hour hike on a nearby trail. Then the real crowd shows up as Mary Lou presents these armchair travelers with a new and exciting destination. Originally part of Hosteling International, the Maumee Valley Adventurer's mission is to promote and offer affordable recreational travel opportunities. They host weekly bike rides through Northwest Ohio from spring through the fall months. And during the winters, they travel with their imagination here at the Weekly Travel Circle. Anyway, welcome to Maumee Valley Adventures Travel Circle. We thank you for coming. Thank you for coming all this year. We have had so many people. It's unbelievable. Um, last week, we had 137. I am so thankful because she made it possible for us to have uh, quality programs each Saturday in the winter. All great conversations happen on Pat Squire's porch. And so I was on Pat's porch yesterday having a talk with her about the origins uh, of hosteling uh, and, and this Travel Circle program. And she reminded me that uh, it was Metro Parks that came to the organization and said, would your world traveling members like to come and share stories on a Saturday? and Mary Lou volunteered to lead the program. Many years ago, they approached us uh, looking for uh, something to do in the wintertime because January, February, and March were kind of their slow months, so they wanted us to put on a program to attract an audience to their metro parks. So we have been setting up the travel circles for over 20 years. Welcome to Maumee Valley Adventures. I'm Mary Lou Leonard. Thank you for coming. Thank you for always coming. There are so many of you that we see every week and we love it. My name is Tom Bernard, and I'm a member of the Board of Directors of Maumee Valley Adventures. For the past several years, I've assisted Mary Lou at the Travel Circle by setting up the audiovisual equipment. Regularly, over a thousand people a year come in to see these programs, and it's turned into one of the most popular programs for the Metro Parks during January, February, and March. In the early days, Pat said 15 people was a good turnout. Um, but 20 some years later, and what I estimate it, maybe 275, maybe even 300 programs later, Mary Lou has built this into standing room only almost every week. Uh, we don't have a bigger building to give. Um, she, she, and if we did, she'd probably fill that. And that has all been because I think not only her, her determination to make it so, but she's got a very um, high standard of quality for these programs. Not just anybody can do a travel circle program. It's, it's been her determination to bring the best programs to the community that she can that through word of mouth has built this program from those 15 people at the beginning to over 100 people every week today. It, this program is a, we call it a monster program. I mean it just fills uh, these buildings every Saturday and brings a thousand people into our parks uh, during the worst weather time of year and uh, we're, you know, and we get to take credit for it, and we provide the place and some promotion. But Mary Lou provides the programs and does all the work. The social part of seeing old friends has been huge. Uh, again, it's a whole new circle of friends that we've made and people whose lives I really value. Many people, including myself, really look forward to seeing um, familiar faces, friendly that we all know, that we're all comfortable with, and we can enjoy a program. The social aspect. It uh, helps us to know each other better and to have fun when the weather's bad. 
I think the importance of Travel Circle to most of our guests is the fact that whether they're members or non-members, they get a chance to see parts of the world that they might not get to see on their own. Next week's program, we'll be back at Wildwood with Lisbon, Madeira, the Canary Islands, and Morocco. Uh, also a chance for them to socialize, uh, go for a walk before the uh, hike through two or three miles every time before the, uh, the talks. And uh, a chance for socializing, but on the other hand, who knows, it may be just the free coffee and cookies. Uh. Welcome to Maumee Valley Adventures Travel Circle. I'm Mary Lou Leonard. We thank you for coming. Thank you for coming all this year. We have had so many people. It's unbelievable. Um, last week we had 137. You know what this program does is it brings people out into the parks during a time of year that's not easy to get people out. Back when it first started, it was a way for my husband and I to get our three elementary aged kids out of the house and doing something active and enjoyable in the winter time. So it started out as that kind of a social outlet. And over the years it has gotten to be more of a way of getting to know other people as the travel circles have expanded in their popularity, seeing more people and hearing about more places around the world. And if you wonder why the cake is here, it's because tonight's my last time. So I'm, we are going to have somebody else do the program. Um, I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, it's time. And, uh... <laughs> Now, I love the people who do the programs. They, everybody is just, it's, it's a fun thing to do. And, um, but it, when you turn 85, you know, it's time. <laughs> and my kids said, it's time. <laughs> Today is the last travel circle for the year. Thanks for coming. Last week we had 140 people, the most since we've started. Uh, many of you, have come so long that you feel like family. She has uh, done a great job putting these programs on and, and attracting thousands of people into the Metro Park over the years. Now I'm sure that many of you volunteer with an organization somewhere and if you do you've run into a Mary Lou somewhere and you know <laughs> that person. They're the tireless worker who is always working for the organization constantly doing things and our Mary Lou is certainly true to that. For us, over the years, Mary Lou has been a stalwart, a constant in our history, helping us transition from Hosteling International into Maumee Valley Adventures by bringing the Travel Circle program into this new venue. Not only uh, is she responsible for Travel Circle, but she has led bicycle rides. I can't tell you how many times Mary Lou has been at my side when I've been riding my bike, and we've shared such, so many wonderful ideas and shared our lives with each other. Over the years, led walks, and her house was always available for potluck dinners and for our annual holiday party. And I'm sure many members in the audience today uh, will have fond memories of gathering around the piano at Mary Lou's house, singing carols. And it was always the perfect place for these activities. Um, it was big enough to accommodate us, but it was always warm and cozy and kind of felt like an old sweater. Her home has been such a welcoming place for, for many of us. We've had so many beautiful Christmas parties there and sang Christmas carols, and it's been a real joy. MVA is an all-volunteer organization. We run only by people who are willing to give their time and their effort, and she has been integral in part of that. Very, very grateful for her service. This year, she was our Volunteer of the Year, but in a previous year, she received the Jefferson Award for her volunteering activities for lots of organizations. And we're just happy that we're one of them. But most importantly for us, Mary Lou has been the unsung hero behind the Travel Circle, just making it happen year after year. Together with Pat Squire and Jerry Getz, they have brought us Travel Circles for more than 20 years. Now Mary Lou has uh, lined up 13 speakers for every year. She's got the great presenters. She's quite particular about who she gets and what they're going to present um, for 12 to 13 weeks in the wintertime. Getting now over 100 people on most of them now. 
Uh, she's coordinated with the travel, uh, the Metro Parks. She's written thank you notes. And equally as impressive, she has attended every one of these for 20 years. <laughs> week after week, year after year. I mean, just let that sink in for a minute. We can count on Mary Lou to produce a quality program that we're proud to put our name on. I think it helps to have a very friendly, cheerful face that introduces the programs. It's been quite a responsibility. I'd like to ask you to join me in thanking Mary Lou for all that she has done to make this wonderful Travel Circle presentation possible. It's hard to find somebody to step in and fill those shoes, and quite often the programs flounder. But uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, Travel Circle is continuing, and we have found somebody. And if you'll allow my weak attempt at humor here, that somebody is a committee of 12 people. Because <laughs> that's what it takes to fill those shoes. So. After over 20 years, and by my count, at least 260 of these programs, look at what Mary Lou has built. <laughs> Mary Lou, uh, thank you so much for everything that you've done and for being such a great friend to me. Don, Jerry, <laughs> uh, you name it, at yeah. Metro Parks, they all know you. Believe me, they all, they all know Mary Lou. Uh, I, I was telling her nephew earlier, if Mary Lou decides to come out of retirement, uh, she's welcome in the Metro Parks Marketing Department anytime. So, my dear, we have a small gift over here as a token of our appreciation, along with what, what's left of the cake. Thank, thank you so much. I think it's time. Well, Mary Lou, she's just the heart and soul of this whole travel circle. Mary Lou, when I think of you, I think of the smile you always have on your face and the energy that you have. On walks, it was hard to keep up with you because you were so bubbly and just so willing to go ahead. Best wishes on what happens to you in the future. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Mary Lou, thank you for everything uh, over these all these years. Uh, your leadership of this program has overlapped my entire career at Metro Parks. I've appreciated all of your work. I've enjoyed all of our conversations on the phone. You do excellent work. I've been part of the Travel Circle for more than 20 years. Uh, Mary Lou, I want to wish you the very best. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the love and sharing and caring you have had with us, and I know it's going to continue. Hi there, Mary Lou just want to thank you for everything you've done for MVA and Travel Circle over the past years. You're one of the warmest, friendliest people I know, and you made Carol and I very welcome. Also remember the times that I've taken my grandchildren out to your farm so they could, you know, fish in the pond, and you were very happy to have us come out. Congratulations. We love you. We're proud of you. Thank you for all your service to Mommy Valley Adventurers and Hosteling International all these years. You've done a great job. And what a, a blessing to so many people to be able to basically travel around the world with your presenters and uh, learn for these 20 years. That's awesome. Thank you. Mary Lou, thank you ever so much for the Travel Circle Series. It's been a great run and we've enjoyed every one of them, whether it was sitting in the audience and watching them or being up front doing a presentation. Thanks again. Hey mom, just want to tell you how proud we are of you for uh, such a great accomplishment here. It was really fun to watch you uh, year after year uh, perform uh, such a great uh, feat by bringing so many people together to hear about things around the world. You are one who doesn't like to let anything be done without excellence, always looking how to improve things, and uh, you're a great inspiration to us. Uh, you always have set the example. You always put others before yourself, and you have such a great servant's heart. We love you, and uh, we're very proud of you. Congratulations. It's, it's a tough act to follow. <laughs> <laughs> 